Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to today's match day vlog. It's two unbeaten teams in League 2. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Salford City. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match day vlog, Doncaster Rovers versus Salford City in League 2. As I said in the intro, two unbeaten teams in the league. So hopefully Doncaster will be continuing that form and they'll put the first defeat on Salford's record this season. But Salford will be wanting to do the same to the Rovers. So I'm expecting a very entertaining game, but there's potential that we could cancel each other out in this one. If you want to hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, I will link the match preview in the top corner of the screen somewhere, please go ahead and check that out. But, as usual, on a match day vlog, we'll get down to the ground, hopefully get a couple of the opposition fans for fans for, so hopefully grab a couple of Salford fans uh, and get their thoughts and opinions on their start to this season and how they think they're going to progress, their one to watch and score prediction from them. We'll get the family's thoughts on this fixture, we'll get a few words about Tuesday's decent performance at home to Stockport, albeit against 10 men. I think this one's going to be a bigger test, hopefully. It stays 11 v 11 and it'll be a good marker to see where Doncaster Rovers are at at the minute. And we will also get the confirmed team lineup as it comes out as well before kickoff, and then I will show you some of the highlights throughout the game, capture hopefully some celebrations once again. So here we go, let's get down to the ground and uh, yeah, see the family and get a taste of the atmosphere and the build up. Let's go. Confirmed line up for the Rovers, third game unchanged, which is great to see, it's been a long time since we've seen that. So Rovers line up with Mitchell in goal, back four of Noel, Maxwell, Anderson and Roshaw Williams. Midfield three of Clayton, Tommy Rowe, Harrison Biggins with George Miller up front, Lee Tomlin in the midfield and Kyle Hurst as well. The bench we've got Jones, Molyneux, Long, Andrews, Agard, Faulkner and Kalea. So it is completely unchanged, starting 11 and bench. Hopefully it gets us the points once again. Let's see what the fans for before the game. Hi guys, welcome to Fans Forts. I've got Ethan here, Salford City fan. Um, welcome to the Eco Power Stadium, mate. Just said, oh, you had a safe journey down, a decent one, but it's not been too good. Coach broken down, no trains, what have you. Um, but hopefully, the day doesn't get too much better, in my opinion. Oh, man, hopefully it's minute. <laughs> so, um, great start for you guys this season already, unbeaten. Do you think you'll carry it on? No. Not today? No. No, you think you're going to get beat? Yeah. Wicked, I like this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> We'll always drop off, reckon, mid-table by Christmas. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Wicked. In my preview, I went with Thomas Asante as the one to watch. You know you oh, come much better than what I do. I think I've gone for kind of the obvious one. Yeah. Is there anybody else that us Rovers fans should be watching out for today? Depends. Tom King can make a couple of good saves on his day. Luke Bolton's all right, if he plays. Uh, Theo Fussell, he's mint at the back. He'll just fuck it. He'll hammer anyone. Uh, I would tour if he gets up he can cross a bike and bike and whip whip balls in. Yeah. And uh, if Matt Smith's playing his head so unreal. Uh Callum Endry is good shot. He has a good shot on him. But he just seems to like to pass it into the goal instead of just having a shot. Yeah. So we're just gonna try and pass it. Try, try yeah. to overplay it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they'll lose it. They'll, they'll have about five opportunities and we'll score none. Yeah. But from what I've heard, it's quite a solid unit at the minute, starting to try and play football a little bit compared to last season. Is that a positive? Yeah, but it always starts like this. Yeah. Always, we're all right, and then we just we start off. But um, we always start off really bad uh, in the game, and then we'll just, as the game goes on, we'll just build up, and then we like to frustrate teams to try and. Because we've had a couple of red cards against us now. Yeah. We'll just frustrate them, they kick out, and then we just. We don't even, we don't even jump on the opportunity when they have a red card, we just sit back. Hopefully, it's 11 v 11 and it's, a, it's an entertaining game. I've yeah. gone with a 1-1 um, in my prediction. I think we're going to potentially cancel each other out. Give us a score prediction before I let you go and get a pint. Probably like 3-1 Doncaster. We will take oh, no. that. You're a star, it's mate. Awful. Thank you very much. No, Have a good one. Take care. So we're inside the ground. We've got my dad, Chris, and Max are elsewhere. Um, thoughts on Tuesday night, Chris? Uh, good game. Enjoyed it. As I said, in the end of the vlog, we're going to manage to get to the
section. I'm not asking for thoughts and opinions on everything. It's got me. There we are, we'll take that. We've got a special guest a little bit further down the line. You'll know him from Sunday's live streams. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for our review, 72 review. Team Bradley. Salford one nine minutes gone. Thomas Asante with the goal, and that was far too easy down our left hand side. 50 50 ball, bottled it. Salford player comes out with it, squares it across, and it's an open net just to tap in. We've been second best his first 10 minutes. Hopefully, that gives us a kick up the backside and switches us on because not good enough in this opening uh, opening period of play. Rovers nil, Salford one. Not too positive this opening. 20, we're 1 0 down. Anderson been substituted through injury. Noily currently down, looking like he's coming off injured as well. Somebody that we can't really afford to lose at right back. Um, 18 minutes gone and just second best. And like Dad said, it's like Salford have come and rattled us and we're not looking like we're enjoying his football. And like Tuesday, which was chalk and cheese in performance. So, only 20 gone. We'll see how we uh, hopefully improve over the, uh, over the next few, few minutes. But no, not a great start, we're having to make two subs in the first 20, both through injury. Still one up. Coming back into this slightly, 36 minutes gone. Salford very quick on the attack, on the break. And they're just they're roughing us up a bit. They're, They've rattled us, no two ways about it. But I've got to say, officiating in this one has been absolutely dire so far. Very one sided, in my opinion. Um, but good opportunity just from Clayton. It's come to him just outside the box. He's hit it, and it looked like it took a big deflection, but it took it just past the post. And boom, the referee gives a goal kick. Still one no Stuff on us, leaving stuff on us. Referee's not giving a single thing. It's for this game itself. Go on.
passion for the Rovers. The club ticks into injury time in the first half. a sand wedge just chipped into the opposite top corner and this place the roof came off he's, that, play, he's playing number 21 and that lad's the next back in goal definitely something something special that lad definitely 1-1 well, we've we'll come back into this Salford still look very dangerous I just hope he don't uh, encourage uh, footballers to uh, invest money in half time Rovers won Salford one and a half which ebbed and flowed really Salford probably had the better of the first half an hour leaving in, leaving something in on pretty much every tackle a couple of injuries what we've had to swap out um, but yeah battling us we were, we were very battled in the first half an hour and I thought we were getting nothing from this game but we've slowly grown into it got a ball in the game and just as it ticked into it injury time Hurstie pulls off a sublime effort to make it 1-1 one, one. one way to go in this one the officials very one-sided I want to see that change in the second half but, but we will find out when the second half happens let's go watch it go on boys Tomo base of the post and comes out Salford pushing for the equaliser here and I think there's going to be a lot of added time five minutes to go I think there'll be more than likely 15 to go seven minutes seven minutes added on and we are back to the walls at the minute but holding firm so far it's going to be a tough old long seven minutes this players dropping like flies which I hope yeah I hope it's a tactical decision to try and slow the game down and, and stop Salford's momentum rather than anything too serious but I think the referee will be stopping the clock 2-1 7 to go time Rovers to Salford one and another game where we've grown into it oh without a doubt and yeah. they they were a good side the, the came the batted us a bit they took three defenders out they always looked like they were gonna score 
and we grew into it. The odors looked quite a lot. Yeah. And Hirsty popped up with two brilliant goals. Yeah. That's what, that's what I was thinking. We did ride us look yeah. quite a bit. Um, Salford hitting the base of the post. Yeah. I think first half an hour they've probably been the better team. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Could have been two or three up. Yeah. Um, the only them going to win it the yeah. first half hour. Yeah. Without a doubt. And then Hirsty's goal, fantastic first finish. Yeah. Um, brought us in at 1 1. Yeah. And then extra say, time of the first half. Yeah. And then I'd say second half were fairly even. It was, yeah. yeah but without a doubt. One little bit of quality from top of <laughs> fantastic through ball. Onto Hurst, made the run, and a little, lovely finish to to win it. Yeah, I think Tomlin and um, other lad in midfield, forgot his name. Clayton. Gone. Clayton, they just control that middle of park too too much. They've yeah. got a right knowledge and experience between them, and they don't have to look where players are. No, and you can just see the quality shining through of them. And if one's not doing it, other one's doing it. Yeah, you know. And if one's running forward, other one's dropping back to cover. And I think it's what we need, and there seems to be a, a lot of self-belief starting to come through club. Yeah. Which is nice to see, which we didn't have last year. Yeah, from players through to yeah. fans, fantastic. Yeah. If we'd have gone 1-0 one, one no down last year, game were over. Yeah. At minute this season, we've gone 1-0 no down, 2-0 no down, and we've had Fought a back. comeback to a draw, though we win at minute. Yeah. So, 100% yeah. record at home. 100% record at home. 3-2-1 three, three, wins, yeah. two points, one away from home. Yeah, still unbeaten in league this season. I'll take that. Lovely start. I'll take that. Definitely. One sour note or three or four sour notes from today's game was the injuries um anderson yeah. long noyle yeah possibly mitchell yeah the bro sean was limping around yeah he didn't come off because we know more defenders yeah. than put on, Clay, clayton had taken a knock yeah. as well so that's like six players hopefully they're all precautionary substitutions and what have you yeah we haven't got Just a game so, midweek so yeah, i'm so glad we're not a game on tuesday so. The only one that didn't get injured and should have done what referee, basically. <laughs> yeah, very Somebody poor. should have gone through him, so we've got another official on. Yeah, poor referee. And I don't think that's allowed, is it? Poor Lino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we don't care because we've got the three points. No, no. And we're not saying poor Lino just because you were female. I think even if it had been a male yeah. missing some of the decisions, missing were some of the decisions that she missed, she just weren't up with play. No. I'm sorry, she just wasn't fast enough. No. And that's only in League Two. Yeah. You know? And. Yeah, it's all politically correct and stuff like that. Well, it's not because we've seen plenty of blokes running line that are not fast enough in the we have, door, yeah, and we've given just as much stick. We have, without a doubt. So, without a doubt, there we go. She never got no. I didn't hear any sexist comments thrown at her out like that. It was just no, general just that questioning she was decisions. Missing, yeah. She was missing decisions that she shouldn't miss. To be fair, which is good, I think. Yeah, because yeah. everybody should be accountable for the job that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Whether you're female, male, ape. Or whatever. <laughs> Martian. Potentially an ape at a run line better. Yeah. A Martian. Whatever. If yeah. you can't do the job, you're going to get some stick from fans. And I don't. That is something they'll never ever take out of football, I'm afraid. No, I agree. And I don't think they should. But, yeah. No. There you go. So there we go. Very happy fan base. What can we, there's nothing else to say. No. But buzzing. It's, it was a good win. Yeah. Feels strange win. to be yeah. so positive. Six <laughs> points we took out of Manchester this week. I'll yeah. take that all season. <laughs> Cheers, Lancashire. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, we've won the Battle of the Roses this and week. And on that note, if you've enjoyed it, stick a big thumbs up on it. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the 72 review with Ian Bradley, hopefully Punk Chef and myself. And all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.